Hi, it's Allie and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna talk about the books that I have gotten recently. Either I purchased them or they were sent to me. First up, I have Hunted by Megan Spooner and this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. So that's really all I know about this book. I've heard so many good things about this and Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney princess movie. So I'm excited to see what the author's take on Beauty and the Beast is. Next, I have Voyager by Diana Gabaldon, and this is the third book in the Outlander series. I currently have the first, second, and fourth books in the series. I'm not sure why I didn't have the third and just skipped to the fourth. So I went ahead and picked this up at my local Barnes and Nobles just because I wanted the bigger paperback version to match the other books that I have in the series. But if you don't know what Outlander is, it is a historical fantasy book where Claire goes back in time to the 1700s and meets Jamie Fraser. And they go on lots of different adventures. I think the story is so interesting. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out the Outlander TV series on Stars. That's where I found out about it first. I love that series. And I've actually started the Outlander book several different times. But the book is so long and it's hard for me sometimes to read a book when I've already watched the movie or the TV series because you kind of know what's going to happen already. But I really want to read the book because I know that typically the books have more to them than they show on the TV series or the movies. My next book was sent to me by Simon and & Schuster and that is Thirsty Mermaids by Cat Lay. And this is a graphic novel. This graphic novel is about three mermaids that decide to go onto land because they wanna have lots of fun. But then the next morning they find out that they're not sure how to get back into the water and turn back into mermaids. So they have to figure out how they are going to live and blend in with the humans on land. So typically I don't really read graphic novels, but I thought this book sounded so funny and I think it'll be a really fun read. And with it being a graphic novel, it probably won't take that long to get through. Now I have The Passion of Dulce by Julie Berry. And this is the author of Lovely War, which I've heard so many good things about. So I went ahead and picked this up at my local secondhand bookstore. And I, I thought that it sounded so interesting. So Dulce and her mom were convicted of heresy and her mother burned for it, but Dulce was able to escape. So now Dulce is in hiding. Julie Berry's Lovely War got so many good reviews. I'm hoping that this book is just as good. Next up, I have The Perfect Date by Evelyn Lozada. And this is a rom-com and Angel is a single mother and she's just trying to get through nursing school. But then we also have Caleb who is a professional baseball player and he has the playboy reputation. He meets Angel as a nurse and then at the bar that she works in to support her nursing school. He thinks that being with Angel is a great opportunity to trick the tabloids into thinking that he's settling down. So this has the fake dating trope and I think from the synopsis in the back, I feel like Angel is gonna have a little bit of an attitude when it comes to Caleb. So I'm excited to see their chemistry in the book and how they end up falling in love together. Next up, I have The Marriage Clock by Zara Rahim, and this book follows Lila, and she is an Indian American. And her parents think that it's gonna be easy to find a husband. All you have to do is match with a person and then marry them. But Lila wants the Western romance. She wants to end up falling in love with someone and then marrying them. So Lila's parents give her a deadline, and if she doesn't meet this deadline, then she has to marry the man that her parents choose. So Lila goes on lots of blind dates and speed dating, and she's worried that she's not gonna meet that deadline. So I love that this is about an Indian American. I've not read any books about an Indian American girl who might have to marry someone that she doesn't really know. So I'm really excited to read this book. Next, I have Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie Dow, and this book follows a girl named Shay Fung. And she is told that she's going to be a great empress, but she's not sure that she wants to give up in her life what she has to to become an empress. This book is an evil queen retelling of Snow White. So I'm really excited to read this. I love the fairy tale retellings, but most retellings are the happy stories and about the heroines and the good people. So I think this will be really interesting to read the retelling of the evil queen. Now this book is a first in a new series called The Rise of the Empress. And I think that the second book is out already. I don't remember what the second book's name is, 
but I'm really excited to read this. I can't wait to get more of a backstory of the Evil Queen, but this is set in East Asia. So instead of a Western vibe on the story, like the Snow White story, we have the East Asian story. So the next book I have, I am so excited to have it. My sister sent it to me. I was searching for this book everywhere and it was sold out all over the place. So I'm so excited that I have this book now. And it is The Duke and I by Julia Quinn. And this is the first book in the Bridgerton series. If you haven't heard of Bridgerton, there's a new series out on Netflix. The first season is about this book, The Duke and I. And this follows Daphne. And Daphne is coming out to London, which means that she's coming out to let them know that she is ready to get married. So this book also has a kind of fake dating trope to it because the Duke of Hastings and Daphne in here pretend that they are courting each other to stop all the bad gossip about them. I can't wait to read this historical romance. Now I have Hamilton and Peggy by L.M. Elliot. And this is set in the Revolutionary War and Peggy is called to the war front by Hamilton to help the war effort. So it has a lot of fighting and information about the Revolutionary War with a little bit of romance in it as well. I'm really excited to read this. I like this time period a lot, but I haven't read a whole lot about the Revolutionary War. So I'm excited to get to see more of that time frame in this book. Next, I have The Other Bennett Sister by Janice Hadlow, and this is kind of a sequel to Pride and Prejudice. So it is about Mary Bennett, and it's kind of a retelling of her ending. So in Pride and Prejudice, Mary doesn't really have a pronounced story. She kind of is put on the back burner. So this is a story about what if her ending was different. So it's been a while since I've read Pride and Prejudice. I definitely want to do a reread of Pride and Prejudice before I pick up this book. But I think this will be very interesting to see how this author changes Mary Bennett's story. My next book is an ARC. And if you don't know what an ARC is, it's an advanced reader copy that has not been corrected by the editor quite yet. This book, I think, comes out in May. So it'll be coming out soon if you are interested in this book. But it is Happy Endings by Thang Kim Lam. And this story follows Trixie, who is a Vietnamese business owner. And her parents don't believe in her. They don't think that she can run a business. Trixie just wants to prove them wrong. Now, Andre owns a soul food restaurant. And one day he finds Trixie in the restaurant. And they used to be a couple. So Andre was really surprised to see her in his shop. So this story is kind of a rekindling of romance. It's been a long time since I've read a book that is about rekindling romance. I can't wait to read this one. Next up, I have Circle of Shadows by Evelyn Skye. And this book is about Sora and she can throw stars. And she has a Gemini named Damon. So I'm not sure if this kind of is similar to the books His Dark Materials where they have a companion that is with them through their entire lives. I'm not sure if this book will be similar, but Sora and her Gemini Damon are trying to make their way in their world, but their world has been peace-free for a very long time. They're trying to find a way to prove themselves worthy. They find a group of soldiers that seem suspicious, so they go undercover in these group of soldiers. So I don't know a whole lot about this book. I knew at one point, I think it was a Fairy Loot or Owl Crate book. I'm not sure. I believe this came out in 2019. So it's been out for a couple years. I've not heard a whole lot of reviews about it. I'm interested to see how the concept of this book works out. Now I have Shatter by April and Pike, and this is the sequel to Glitter. Glitter is set in modern day France, but when you go inside the Palace of Versailles, it seems like you're back in the 1800s. Danica ends up being engaged to the King of France, but she doesn't wanna marry him. So her only way out is the drug Glitter. So I believe that this story is only gonna be a duology. I think this is the last book. It's the ending to Danica's story. I'm not 100% positive, but I believe that this is gonna be the last one. I think this story sounds so intriguing and different than anything I've heard of before. I've not really heard this concept for any other book before. Now I have Because of Miss Bridgerton by Julia Quinn. And this is the first book in the prequel series to the Bridgerton series. And I have the other three to this prequel series, but I wasn't able to find this anywhere until I looked on Target and I had a coupon for this. So I think I ended up getting this book for like $1, but I'm really excited to read this. I'm ready to read the prequel series so I can get started on the Bridgerton series. I'm not 100% sure of what the prequel series is about, but I think the prequel series has people in it that are involved in the Bridgerton series as well. 
The next two books I have are part of a trilogy. And the first book is The Valiant, which I own already. And the second book is The Defiant. And the third book is The Triumphant. And these are by Leslie Livingston. I don't know a whole lot about this trilogy. All I know about it is that it is about a woman gladiator. And that's really all that I needed to know to get me interested in this story. I love the Roman history, and I've always been very interested in learning about the gladiators. So the fact that this is a story about a woman gladiator makes it that much more interesting to me. Next, I have The Cure for Dreaming by Kat Winters. And this book follows Olivia. And when Olivia was younger, her father hired a hypnotist to try to hypnotize her into being a better behaved child. But the hypnotist ended up giving her a gift instead. So her gift is that she can see people for who they really are, whether they be monsters, victims, madmen, or friends. So I'm really excited to read this. I think this whole story sounds very intriguing. I think this would be a great Halloween read. So I'll probably wait until around October to pick this book up and read it. But I do have Cat Winter's other books, and I've heard In Shadows of Blackbirds, which is her debut novel, was a very good book. I'm excited to pick this up and read it because I think the concept for this story sounds even more interesting. Now I have Fireborn by Rosaria Munda. And this book is about dragon riders who have to fight in a war in their country. So I'm so excited for this book. I don't know much more about it other than the dragon riders. But the fact that it has dragons in it, it makes me so excited. There's not a whole lot of books that have dragons in them. I'm really excited to read this book. I've heard so many good things about it. I believe yesterday the second book in the series just came out and I think it's called Flamefall. And like I've mentioned in previous videos, I like reading books that are the first in the series, but that they already have the next book out. That way I don't have to wait for the next book. I'm a very impatient person when it comes to cliffhangers. The next book I have was my book of the month pick for March, and that is The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Pinner, and this is her debut novel. So this book follows a female apothecary in the 18th century, and apothecaries had to say a vow that they wouldn't use their craft for harm. But the apothecary in this book wants to help the women, and women in the 18th century were very oppressed by men. This apothecary helps women come into her shop, and then she gives them product to make them feel more empowered and in control of their lives and their situations. I'm really excited to read this. I read a little bit of the first chapter when I first got this and it already seems like a book that I'm not going to be able to put down. And I also wanted to mention that I love this cover. I think this cover is so beautiful. The last book I have to talk about I also got from Book of the Month and that is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Now this I believe was the book of the year for Book of the Month not last year, but the year before, I believe. And I've heard so, so many good things from different people about this book. And I believe that this book is actually being turned into a movie as well. But this book is written kind of like a theater script would write. It has the names of the characters and then their, whatever they're talking about in the book. So I'm excited to read it with it being written a little bit differently than most books. So those are all of my new books. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought about them. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when I post new content. I'll make sure to post all my social media accounts down below if you wanted to check those out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.